Hi kids, it's me Grace. I hope that you had a great time with our first bedtime story. And now it's time for our second bedtime story. I heard that um, Little Red Riding Hood is one of Philippa's favorites. So here we are, we're gonna read The Little Red Riding Hood, okay? Are you ready? Yes, cool. Okay, there you go. Okay, look. This is Little Red Riding Hood. And this is her mommy. Okay, ready? There you go. There was once a little girl who everyone called Little Red Riding Hood. This was because she always wore a bright red clock with a hood. It had been given to her by her dear old granny. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mommy asked her to take a basket of cake to her grandmother. Oh, poor granny isn't feeling very well, she said. This should make her feel much better. So Little Red Riding Hood was very happy to visit her granny who lived in the woods but her mother warned her to be careful little red riding hood you have to go straight to granny's cottage along the path she said and don't talk to any strangers on the way Little Red Riding Hood set off through the woods, skipping along the path. She hadn't been gone long when a big, hairy wolf stepped out in front of her. Good morning, little girl, smiled the wolf. Where are you going on this lovely day? Little Red Riding Hood felt scared. But she tried to be polite. Um, I'm taking this basket of cakes to my granny, she said. Oh, how nice, said the wolf, his eyes gleaming. Ooh. Now, tell me, where does your granny live? So Little Red Riding Hood told the wolf where granny's cottage was. <gasps> oh dear. Now, what Little Red Riding Hood did not know was that this was not a very nice wolf. He was a very bad wolf. And he rushed off as quickly as he could to reach the cottage first. He knocked on the door. Knock, 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 knock and said in a high voice, Hello, Granny! It's Little Red Riding Hood! Of course, the old lady was delighted to hear her granddaughter and told her to come in. The canning wolf burst in and locked poor Granny in the wardrobe. Then he dressed in her clothes, jumped into her bed, and pulled the blanket up to his Chin. Okay, look. Look at that. This is Granny, and this is the big bad wolf. When the little girl arrived at the cottage, she knocked at the door. Knock, 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 knock. It's Little Red Riding Hood, she called. I brought you some cakes. Come in, my dear, said the crafty old wolf. Little Red Riding Hood came over to the bed. Look. Look at this. Look at the wolf. He dressed up like the grandma. Okay, there you go. 
Little Red Riding Hood came over to the bed, she couldn't help noticing that Granny looked a bit strange. Granny, what big eyes you have! Granny, what big eyes you have! said Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, the better to see you with my dear, said the wolf. Oh, Granny, what big ears you have. Oh, Granny, what big ears you have. Oh, the better to hear you with my dear, said the wolf. Oh, and Granny, what big teeth you have said little red riding hood oh the better to eat you with cried the wolf and he jumped out of the bed snapping his teeth snap 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 the wolf chased little red riding hood around the room and little red, run 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 and she's asking for help like she cried for help like help Little Red Riding Hood's father, who was chopping logs nearby, heard the noise. He ran to the cottage just in time for the wolf just about to gobble Little Red Riding Hood. When the wolf saw the sharp axe, he ran straight into the deep, dark woods and was never seen again. Oh, where is Granny? cried Little Red Riding Hood. She heard a knock and opened the wardrobe. <gasps> oh, there was Granny, a bit sharp, but perfectly fine. Oh, goodness, thank God. Oh, Granny, I'm so glad to see you, cried Little Red Riding Hood and gave her the biggest hug ever. She hugged her father too. Then all three of them sat down to a delicious tea with cake. So look, this is her grandma. This is the little red riding hood. And this is her daddy. And they all had a great time having tea with delicious cakes. Okay, and they live happily ever after tea and... So that's the end of our second bedtime story. I hope that you had a great time, kids. And bye. See you next time.